Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Accenture Technical Assessment, Accenture Cognitive Assessment and if you have questions like what are the real questions they are asking, what are the expected questions and what is the difficulty level then this video is for you. So now let me discuss about the all of those questions and also one very important question I have been getting a lot response from you that will there be any verbal ability, aptitude or etc etc. The clear answer is no okay as per the students feedback there is no verbal ability there is no uh, cognitive assessment as earlier okay now only gaming rounds are available in cognitive ability and then the technical assessment will be held and in technical assessment there will be pseudocode questions cloud and networking questions then uh, ms office questions and then you'll have cyber security questions few okay so these type of questions you may expect also some dbms related uh, mcq questions now let me discuss about the expected questions and latest pattern questions as all of you know guys higher pro is conducting the exam so if you are preparing through higher pro exams higher pro exam questions then you will get common questions so this is the best strategy to prepare now please prepare through the previous year higher pro exam questions which will be helpful for you and which can be repeated for your case now let me discuss about those questions just before that guys if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please make sure that you have subscribed this channel and watching the playlist of accenture cognizant capgemini or any other company that you want okay just let me know which content you want more now let me discuss about the questions so which of the which file extension is commonly associated with executive files in windows okay so uh the questions uh, options i hope this is visible to you dot dll dot bash dot ssh dot exe so the questions itself reflecting to the answer i hope you have already guessed it but one thing to tell you that uh if let's say here as you can see the question was asked on 15th of november okay let's say the questions was asked on 15th november 2023 so was that be helpful yes of course that question will be also helpful because the conducting body is same the exam conducting body is same higher pro or metal so they are conducting the exam and they will not change their pattern okay so and one also thing that is uh, let's say the question was asked for only executable files okay but the earlier the same questions was asked differently that is uh for dot bass which file for dot ssh extension for which file dot xlx dot xlsx i have been uh, covering all the questions from the last uh 1.5 years so i have observed these things that they have been asked regarding uh extensions like which file for which extensions okay so i hope you understood what i am trying to tell you so for this question the correct answer will be dot exe okay so let's start with the second like let's go to the next question so the next question is this in database management what does the team acid stand for what does the term acid a c i d i hope you know guys acid stand for so i hope the options are also visible atomicity consistency isolations and durability association compilation inter uh, sorry what is that uh integration distribution accuracy configuration integration deployment algorithm compression inference or decryption so please write down the correct answer okay so let me give the correct answer that is the first one that is atomicity consistency isolation and durability okay so guys uh, this is one good concept from sql sorry database so if 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 you don't know then and if you are sitting for a big mnc then please know that because if you are from uh let's say it or csc branch then they may ask this type of questions okay and also if you are uh, like sitting for any ai based company 
any ai based role then they can also ask this type of questions related to sql related to database okay so let's go to the next question that is sql stands for what dash in the context of the okay so in the context of database what is the full form of sql software quality level structured query language or system query link or security query list so should i give the answer no i'll not give the answer so this is a quiz question for you guys so please give the answer in the comment section because this is a very easy question so you must give the answer okay so guys also i'll request you to watch the playlist of accenture this will also be very much helpful because all of the questions which are being asked in these days i am covering all of those so please go through the playlist and suggest your friend so that they can also get the right platform to prepare okay so let's go to the next guys before proceeding to the next question i want you to have the best prime materials available at internet where you will get all the updated questions of gamified questions pseudo code cloud and networking coding questions with answers communication assessment html CSS, javascript sql interview experience mock test all the things and you will play the real game which will be asked to you in accenture exam so please have that materials which is available at topmain.io the link will be provided in the description box or in the comment section please go through that it will be very much helpful it it has been trusted by more than 2500 students so you should not left behind okay so i hope you'll go through that now let me discuss about the question the question that is regarding this what is the value of uh what is the role of a compiler in a software development process so guys please give the answer in the comment section managing version control converting high level source code into machine code or uh, debugging software applications encrypting software binaries so what is the correct answer okay so let me give the answer that is converting a high level source code into machine code okay so as you know guys uh, the compiler will convert the high level code to machine level code so that machine can understand what you told okay that is okay so let me just uh, ignore this okay let me go to the next question that is uh in the context of programming languages what is the purpose of a lambda function to represent anonymous function to handle exceptions to execute multi-thread operations to optimize memory usage okay so lambda function is also one of the most important topic let's say if you have been onboarded at accenture okay if you have been onboarded in cognizant capgemini or any company and you got let's say one um domain related to java okay related to java or or any core uh language okay so you must be answer you must be asked these questions after you onboarded there will be one interview again so on that interview if your domain is related to java then these questions will be asked to you must that is what is the function of lambda function and what is the purpose of this okay so the purpose to use of lambda function is to represent anonymous function okay so it is only possible for functional interfaces as like i am not going to brief so functional interface so if you know this concept then you can understand this okay so please have a basic knowledge about uh, lambda functions because these type of questions can be asked to you in after your onboarding okay so the next question is in microsoft word what is the purpose of the style feature microsoft word what is the purpose of style feature so should i show you now or ignore okay let me just answer it adjusting font size sorting paragraphs alphabetically or defining formatting rules for the next element for the text element or next element so defining formatting rules so let's say you have written something okay let's say you have written subscribe 
guys if you have not subscribed it yet then please subscribe it because this motivates you to make more content okay so subscribe okay this is the written and you have given a blue color okay you have given a blue color to the font and let's say the font size is 45 okay and you have copied the format okay you have copied the style so you can you can like you can define the formatting rules and you can just paste that to other text okay so i hope you understood and you can paste the format style on this text okay so that is defining formatting rules for the text or next element okay styles feature so the next com uh, question is what does the acronym vlookup stand for in microsoft excel okay so without any bug work let me just answer that particular lookup okay so the next question is this what is the primary function of the data model in microsoft power bi creating visualization for reposts aggregating a data from multiple sources sorting the data in ascending order encrypting data during analysis so data model in microsoft power bi so what is the primary function of that primary function for that is aggregating uh, data for data from multiple sources okay so data model actually uh, the function of that is aggregating data from multiple sources okay so actually uh, like as you can see the earlier questions are very easy that is what is the full form of vlookup what is the full form of sql so what is the use of lambda function what is the use of styles so these type of easy questions are asked parallelly you should be asked you must be asked one odd questions odd questions okay and maybe you not you are not aware of the power bi still they will ask so one or two odd questions you will face okay so basically the questions answer is aggregating data from multiple sources so the next question is this what is the function of the alt plus tab keyboard shortcut in windows operating systems okay guys if you have a uh, mac os then this question will not be compatible with you guys okay so those who have windows operating system this question is for you guys okay so switching between open applications opening the task manager or activating the windows startup men start menu creating a new desktop workspace so what is the function of the all tab keyboard shortcut that is switching between open application okay so let's say let's say i don't know what happens in mac os but i am also same with you guys windows so alt plus tab if you let's say if you have opened chrome okay if you have opened chrome and you have opened multiple tabs and your current active tab is this and if you click alt plus tab then your session will be moved to this tab next tab okay so that means switching between open applications or switching between open tabs is also sorry alt plus tab now nah? so alt plus tab is uh, not for this case alt plus tab this is for control plus tab and alt plus tab is for let's say if you have opened chrome you have opened uh, application b okay you have opened third applications okay all are parallelly working but if you click on alt plus tab then you can switch between this tab to this tab to this tab to this tab okay so basically switching between these tabs you can do it okay switching between open applications you can do that using all plus tab so the next question is in ms excel which function can be used to calculate the number of work days between the dates 6 9 2013 and 8 12 2013 
okay so actually the answer is already there so network day okay next question is this so what is the purpose of the system restore feature in windows OS? creating a backup system backup of system files encrypting system files for protection restoring the system of a previous data or updating device drivers so the correct answer will be restoring the system to a previous date okay so let me go to the next question once again guys if you have not purchased our prime materials of accenture or any company that you want we have prime materials of accenture cognizant capgemini infosys deloitte uh, take mahindra delta x okay and many more so if you want any of these then just comment down or you can just damn me at our insta handle list come to come slash techno tf will reach out to you okay so let's go to the next question that is in a bitwise zor operation what is the result of zoring a number with itself zero one the original number two times the original number actually the option is this so basically in case of zor operation if if let's say this is the first bit and this is the second bit then if he's zoring a number between uh, if you are zoring between a digit with itself then it will be zero or one it will be zero let's say this is one this is one it will also be zero okay that means false if let's say this is zero this is one then it will be true if this is one this is zero this will be true so basically if those are same if the bits are same then the answer will be false okay in case of zor operation so i hope you understood so this was the last question of today's session so this much of discussion i had to do with you today so i hope this video added value to your career so guys please make sure that you have subscribed this channel and watching the playlist of any competitor want and let me know which content you want more if you want me to upload more capgemini questions accenture questions technical questions or cognitive questions etc etc then please comment that you want this i'll make the more content on those topic only okay i'll give more importance on your comment okay so thank you for the discussion guys please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends